The Sundarban forests are among the last bastions of the Royal Bengal Tiger. But over the years, human pressure has been threatening the habitat and efforts have been made to reduce man-tiger conflict. But another threat is looming over the horizon, that of global warming. Extraordinary pictures from Deulbari village in the Sundarbans on February 18. The tigress that strayed into the village the night before tried to escape when daylight dawned. But with thousands of villagers chasing her, she climbed up a tree. Forest officials then shot her with a tranquilizer. But before the dart could take effect, unruly villagers dragged her down. Villagers who would rather the tigress was killed than rescued. The area was not as smooth because this area is not used to for tiger straying. I think in the last 10-15 years there is hardly any example when tiger has strayed. So people were not used to. This story of man-animal conflict had a happy ending. The tigress was rescued and set free. But Deulbari brought back the nightmare of July 2001 when villagers of Pakhiralai trapped a tiger and hacked it to death. Pakhiraloi has never been repeated since, and 22 straying tigers have been rescued. But Deulbari almost broke that record. One of the things that the forest department has done to reduce man-animal conflict is put up these nets along 45 kilometers of the Sundarbans borders, particularly in areas where villages are adjoining or lying across the river. The other step is the setting up of the Forest Protection Committees or FPCs in villages along the tiger habitat fringe. All villagers are members and the principle is you don't disturb the tiger habitat in search of a livelihood and in return the forest department will help you find alternatives. The alternatives on offer, loans for poultry, piggery and fishing. <laughs> चाहिदा the biggest question before the Sundarbans, however, is how many tigers does it have? The 2004 census, by the method of counting pug marks, put the population at 274. But the new census method of camera trapping and studying the prey base suggests, say experts, a much lower figure. The census by the Wildlife Institute of India is still underway and Sundarban tiger experts are non-committal about its outcome. Number one, I would like to correct that when we say 274, then certainly there is a 15 to 20 percent variation possible. The numbers should be out sooner rather than later. But whatever the population, there is no denying that the alarm bells are ringing for the Royal Bengal Tiger. And near tragedies like Deulbari don't help the cause of conserving the big cat. I'm in the domain of the Royal Bengal Tiger in the mangrove forests of the Sundarbans. Now these impenetrable forests that you see behind me have always been touted as the last stranglehold of the big cat. But over the years, human pressure has been threatening this habitat. And as there are efforts to reduce the man-tiger conflict, there's another larger threat looming over the area, the threat of global warming. So what's being done to save the Royal Bengal Tiger in its name state. In the Sundarbans, Monidipa Banerjee, NDTV.